Welcome back to Music and Wood. Today we're going to build a pedal board. It's going to be three feet in width by 15 inches in depth, and we're going to put all the pedals on one board. It's going to be awesome. We're going to do this for very inexpensively as well. Very small bill of materials. A two by four foot half inch sheet of plywood, some screws and glue. The instructions and dimensions for all the cuts will be available online. Link in the description. All right, let's get to cutting. So starting off, we have our two foot by four foot sheet of plywood. We're going to need to cut this off into our different components. So we're going to start off on this one end here, cut off one foot of it. So we'll have three feet lengths we can rip then for our rails. Of course, use eye protection when uh, working with power tools and things and hearing protection when it's real loud. First, we're going to make a cut of one foot in width off the long side of the 2x4 sheet of plywood. This piece will be used for the feet of the pedal board. Now the angle of the blade must be adjusted to 7 degrees to cut the pedal rails. The reason for the 7 degree angle is to make the front and back sides of the rails 90 degrees with the ground. Firstly, we're adding a 7 degree side to the board so that we can have 7 degrees on both sides and they're going to be coplanar with each other on either side. No need to flip the board over. We just ripped our first seven inch in width board. Now we're going to rip the four and a half inch and finally the one inch, which will be used at the very top back of the pedal board. The blade angle must now be readjusted to 90 degrees in relation to the table so that we can cut the three support legs for the pedal board. These will all be two inches in width. Now I'm getting my taper jig out and setting the angle to seven degrees. We're going to taper the support feet from two inches down to about one eighth of an inch. There's a push block at the back of this jig, so I cannot cut all the way through on the table saw. Instead, I'm making partial cuts ensuring not to impact the jig with the table saw blade. Now I'll go over to the bandsaw to complete the cuts. With a little sanding, they should come out perfect. If you have a nice Rockler taper jig, you can make the complete taper cut on the table saw. The final cut will be for the back of the pedal board. Setting the fence to two and a half inches, we can rip the board that has a seven degree angle on one side and a straight cut on the other. With all of our components cut out, let's do a dry fit and see how they go together. Very nice. From here, we can decide where we're going to put our screws across the rails to keep them screwed into the base here. As we're choosing our screw lengths and positions, we want to be careful to not go through the rail and have the screw poking out under it. I'm measuring to put two screws through each rail, securing it to the feet. Since we're dealing with only half inch plywood, I wanted to be exact in the placement of the screws so they held true and did not poke out of the sides or the bottom of the feet. Now that we've got our screw holes marked across the rails, we can glue and screw this pedal board up. Let's get to assembly. To glue the rails to the feet, I am marking the depth of the rails on them so I have a clearly defined area to glue. After gluing, I use a scrap piece of wood to ensure a flush match of the rail to the foot, and then screw it in to secure it. Gluing one foot up, moving it across the other side, and then doing the center last.
And there you have it. This is our pedal board. We can now Velcro in our power supply on the back of the board here, and then run our lines out to all of our pedals. This is the fun part. Let it begin. And I'll see you next time on Music and Wood.